take a look at me. I'm being I'm a specimen right here, buddy. Cops are fair, courteous, and professional pretty much all the time. That's Stop right. following us around! That's your oh, last warning! You got that. Go right. ahead and record it. We I'm are. Officer Tolbert 612. Whoa. Okay. Uh, did I mention fair, courteous, professional, and patient? I'm giving you to the count of three. Count of three. See, that's a generous offer. More than patient and super duper cordial. Maybe this guy will be more reasonable. Bullshit. I'll write a reckless off citation to every goddamn one of you. Every single one of you. Get your boy on the horn and get him back here. I'll write every single one of you. Every single one of you were called in for passing on the burn, Who's passing in the middle. The every single one Smile. of you. Guys. You know how many times you guys were called in by murderers? 12! Almost causing fatal crashes on my goddamn interstate. 12 times! And then your boy wants to run. Do you want to tell me you don't know who he is? Every one of you is getting a reckless op citation right now. Give me your stuff. Oh, I know what it is. Cops are way more professional when they're dealing with other cops while addressing jurisdictional issues. You know, thin blue line brother to thin blue line brother. Pinky promise. Inside the city or out here? Oh, just right here. Okay. I'm pulling. Uh, uh, so go pull the video at no, Valero. Man, listen, don't let you get on my traffic stop no. again, I will arrest I'll, you. Yeah, I'll arrest you right now. Bro. Do it, buddy. And we're going to do it. Charge you. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it, Go it. Go for do it. Do it. There's okay. cameras at Valero yeah. and there's cameras at Napa that see you pulled out. Shut your f***ing mouth. You don't talk to me like that. I'm not your boy. Talk to you, boy. You a boy. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I know nobody wants to believe that cops are looking for a reason to abuse their power, pull you over, and harass you for no reason. But some of them are just dumb enough to admit that they do exactly that. And they admit to their routine abuse of power on video. And then they post it on social media. Take my Uncle Bob here. And don't let it throw you. He likes to dress and drag and play cop. See that B? That's B for Bob. He'll tell you on camera that he'll stay behind you in traffic long enough to find a reason to pull you over. If us officers stay behind you long enough, we can find a reason to pull you over. So you might as well get the out of the way. Yeah. Get the flip out of Bob's way. Somewhere there's a village missing an idiot. And when they find him, I'm sure Uncle Bob will be in mascara, heels, and wearing his uniform. But until they find him, even Bob admits on camera that he violates speeding laws for absolutely no reason and likes to remind us that we can't do the same things. I can go 90 miles an hour. You can't. You can't do that. So get out of the way. Somehow, people want to continue believing that this law enforcement mentality is rare. Newsflash, it's not. The actual sheriffs in some towns are no better. They'll pull you over for no freaking reason. Then they'll admit that you didn't commit a crime and you didn't break a law, and they'll still try to get your ID from you. You're the sheriff. I'm the sheriff. And your name is? David Holliburton. David Holliburton. Yes, well, sir. David, we didn't break any law. I know that. And but I understand. On the other hand, I can legally ask for an ID. Not in Texas. Yes, sir. Because you have to lawfully pull us over. We'll get to the rest of this clip in a minute. But did you ever notice how butthurt cops get when you question them on why they're breaking their own laws? Remember Connecticut State Trooper Matthew Spina? Can I just ask you why you're riding their butt like that and speeding, man? I'm running his license plate because everybody yeah. else is speeding. Why are you speeding? I was only going 60. Speed limit's 40. 50. The signs. Okay. Well, bye. Do All right. A favor. Oh, give me the weed, too. No, I, I have a. Oh, I, oh, oh, yeah. I have no a shit. medical marijuana card. Step out. I have a card. Step out. All right, all right, stop, man. You want to fucking run your mouth? No problem. You came to the right guy. Step out. Come all on. right, all right, stop. See, the blue car. Yeah, which one? Was tailing me. Yeah. While I was pacing a tractor trailer looking for a motor vehicle violation because okay. the governor's office has gotten multiple complaints yeah. on traffic stops. I know. Okay? I know that. So we're out doing our thing. Okay. He What's decides to pass me and f me off. All right, Spino. All right? Yeah, I'm sorry. So the f*** you think you are worried about what I'm doing? You're right. I know I'm right, God damn it! Get the f*** out! Everyone 
Someone's got something to say. Mind your own goddamn business. You're speeding. How about I start with that? I was following that kid for a reason. And if you hadn't done that stupid stunt, I'd be with him right now. But no, you just couldn't leave it alone, could you? You had to be a American. God help you if there's anything illegal in this car. Is it in the original dispensary container? No. Then you're fucked. How's that sound? No shit. Mind your own fucking business next time. Yeah, it's called shut the fuck up. I was driving along, I was gonna head through a simple citation that I did, but no! You gotta be. Uh, just couldn't fing shut your mouth. Where are you going anyway? Why am I speeding? I'm doing my fing job. Connecticut General Statute 14 298 allows law enforcement officers to disregard the traffic laws in the performance of their duties. How the fing am I gonna catch a speeder if I'm not speeding? You late for your job at NASA with physics? Unbelievable. It just never ends in this f***ing job. I got 14 months. I can't f***ing wait to be done. You're not the only one, Captain Pressure Cooker. We can't wait for you to be done either. And what does this walking stress case think about the general public? As if it wasn't already obvious. This ought to tell you why our department is having 1,300 as 850 right now. There's a fucking clue to the public. What a bunch of assholes you are. Oh, and you remember Virginia State Trooper Charles Hewitt, the specimen, don't you? You can't do that, sir. This officer is trying to unlock my car. This officer is unlocking my car. They just illegally entered my car. And I'm being forcefully removed. Take a look at me. I'm being I'm forcefully removed. I'm a removed. specimen right here, buddy. Sir, I'm you in have no... Gotten my last my nerve. hands are up on camera. All right. I'm in no threat You're going to gonna get your ass looked in front of... Lord in all creation. F and Lord in all creation. Man, that doesn't even sound right. My I'm going to give up. you one more chance. I'm being threatened. You can bring that with you. I'll let you film threatened. the whole thing. I'm being threatened nope, right now. I'm giving you a chance. I am not doing anything. I feel I'm giving unsafe. you a chance. I feel unsafe. Okay, come on Sir, out. please do not touch me, sir. Keep your phone out. Sir, please do not touch me. See, that's where we're coming to a disagreement. It's not about I'm giving you to the count of three. Don't do this. Oh, sir, do it. I'm Don't not touching it, this officer. It's Don't on camera. It. My hand is by Step my head. Car right I'm now. being threatened. Now you're I'm under arrest. Threatened. Now you're I'm under arrest for disobeying the law. I was being an officer. I'm giving you to the count detained. of three. This officer has threatened me, and I'm One, making it known I am no threat to this two, officer. I've been threatened. Oh, watch the show. My folks. life is in. Anyway, back to this sheriff's unlawful traffic stop. Good morning. Good morning. Looking for a white van that's northbound, possibly in the northbound, I mean the southbound lane. Y'all see anything like that? Uh-uh. Those days boarded back to Roadside Park and across the bound. Where are from? Remember from Stanford? Hmm. Well, we just came from Holly. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't see any white van other than ours. <laughs> Uh, we got a report of one going northbound, southbound lane. Northbound in the southbound lane. Yeah, oh, wow. Well, that was not us. That was not yeah. us. <laughs> you didn't observe that with us, did you? <laughs> Where y'all headed? Well, I'm sure curious why you pulled us over. Yeah. Looking for a white van. Going well, you found a white van. Yeah. But we weren't in the... We weren't in the southbound lane going northbound. I understand that. So I'm still I'm just curious, just curious why you pulled us over. Yeah. Legally pulled us over. Looking for a white van, you could have changed over. Yeah, but you can't just pull us over because you suspect us as being a white Make man. Make sure that it wasn't y'all. All right. Well, it wasn't us, so if you have any other yeah. reason to believe it was us, you can continue. Otherwise, we'd like to be on our way. Let me just say that I don't think it was inappropriate at all for the sheriff to go ahead and check on these people. Maybe they previously had been traveling the wrong direction on the road. There could be some type of medical emergency. I think it's good that he checked on him. But after just a few seconds of interaction, it's clear that everyone in the van is okay. It's also clear that the sheriff didn't witness anything illegal or even any civil driving infractions. Therefore, a consensual counter is acceptable, but a detainment is not. Well, it wasn't us, so if you have any other reason to believe it was us, you can continue. Otherwise, we'd like to be on our way. Uh, I still like to see an ID. I don't think legally... Uh, legally, I can't. You didn't legally pull us over. So, okay. ID. Let's see your ID. What's your badge number? I'm 72. I'm you sure just you didn't show me a badge, just so you know. I don't see a badge. I see it. Anybody could have that uniform on. 
Do you have a supervisor that you yeah, can call? I'm supervised. I'm sure I have So you should know, sir, that you can't pull us over. Okay, what's your badge? You're the sheriff. I'm the sheriff. And your name is? David Holliburton. David Holliburton. Yes, well, sir. David, we didn't break any law. I know that. And but I understand. On the other hand, I can legally ask for an ID. Not in Texas. Yes, sir. Because you have to lawfully pull us over. I lawfully pull Joe. Okay, David, I want you to know I'm going to follow through with attorneys on this, so I want you to be Go very right clear. Ahead. If you if you violate her Fourth Amendment right right now, that's a constitution. You have just stop alone is a violation. Why don't you just let us go over down the road? Why don't you let us continue? This this isn't the van you're looking for. I can legally ask questions. You can legally ask, but just stop itself is illegal. Ask for an ID, David. The stop's illegal, and you know this. Stop's illegal. It's illegal. Yes, it's illegal. Did you observe us doing something illegal? Being a white van's not illegal, sir. You're not going to like this. Believe me. Show him your ID because now he knows his, his qualified immunity is gone right now. He knows he didn't pull us over for a valid reason. Being a white van. Give him your ID. This is a violation of her constitutional rights right now. Yes, it is, sir. Still living Holly. Sir, she's not going to answer any questions. This is exactly what we talk about all the time, isn't it, guys? Yes. This is exactly what we discuss. A white van, not observed doing anything, and here we are. There you go, man. Are we free to go? There you go. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. That's all I'm asking. Just trying to figure out where you're going, you know. We're going about our business, lawfully and legally, well, like we always are. Fine. All right, well, you'll be hearing from us, sir. Thank you. Be safe, please. This is footage from a cop watcher named Steve Bell who recorded this psycho blowing a gasket. And why did he blow that gasket? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't like accountability. Give me a feedback. You get your camera on this pickup. Sydney, can you show me a car suspicious vehicle? It's going to be commercial <laughs> Nebraska, 39-3616, 39-3616, you don't have to give your ID when you did nothing wrong. Okay, fine. The weather's in Illinois. Yeah, you hold it. You got a license registration? Did I commit a crime? Yeah. Did I commit a crime? I want your license, registration, and insurance. I'm asking you, did I commit a crime? I will explain that in a second here. Well, according to Nebraska state statute, all I, I just asked you for your license, well, your state registration, and your proof of insurance. Okay. I'm going to tell you, you're being video recorded and audio recorded. So are you. Oh, well, good. And you're telling me I did not commit a crime. Correct? I'm going to ask you again, what am I being pulled over for? What am I being stopped for? Am I being detained? Not at the moment. Well, can I have my license registration be free to go, please? Why are you circling my crime scene? I do not have to answer any questions without a lawyer present. Okay, why are you constantly following us? I do not have to answer any questions without a lawyer present. Are you afraid? I do not have to answer any okay. questions without a lawyer present. I'm going to tell you what. The next time you follow me to a crime scene or any scene of that nature, including a traffic stop or anything of that nature, I will arrest you for obstructing. Because one, you're taking away my focus on what needs to be taken care of. But you're a, All we're doing but is you driving. are you are let me explain something to you. Well let me explain something to you. You don't run the law, you only enforce the you law. You wanna go to jail for obstructing? For what? what for I'm driving down what the street. You are taking away from my duties right now. All he's doing is driving down the street. Do you want to go to jail too? For for what? For obstructing. What? Obstructing. Officer what? Hoffrock, what am I instructing by driving down the street? Well, Stephen, what he's trying to explain is uh, when you keep driving by and things like that, he has to take some focus away from what he's actually So the to do. five other cars that I've watched do the same thing, they're going to get stopped too tonight? You've Because I have them on video, Officer Hoffrock. Well, I have this video. A, you've drove around at least five times since I've been right here. So, is, been, other, so is other vehicles. So are people walking the, by. They're leaving the theater. Um, That's understandable. Or are you just So leaving? you're telling me I don't have the right of freedom of movement? All I'm saying is you're creating a problem for yourself. You're creating a problem no, for me right now. No, you're creating... Look, 
Stop. You have stopped me for Listen. no reason. Stop following us around. There's no login. Stop talking. following us around. That's your oh, last warning. You got that. Go right. ahead and record it. We are. Officer Tobler, 612. No problem. Really? Just because you're a chicken no. motherfucker no. and you have no problem. Scott, that's yeah. enough. Steven, go, okay? Just go. Wait, that's I would like to file doing. charges. He threw something at me for assault. Okay. I would like let to me, file charges, Officer Hoffer. Let me get your information, and I will forward that on to Major Akins. Okay. okay. He handles all of the internal okay. affairs. Okay? So what's a phone number for you, Steven, so he can get a hold of you? Scott. Okay. And I have not, I didn't stop. I didn't do anything. This man, when I turned the corner the first time I came around, uh -huh. yelled at me to go threw the his hands home, up. Threw his hands up like he wanted to fight me. Okay. Right there on that corner. And we did nothing and but drive by. I didn't by. do anything but drive by the first time. Okay. At that point in time, I parked. Thought if he had a problem, he can come over and talk to me. And this is the attitude I get. You saw right here, I gave him no okay. attitude. I questioned. He okay. doesn't like being questioned. All right. All right. I will take those concerns on to Major Akins. Okay? okay. That's all I can do at this point. That's fine. Okay. Thank All you. right. Um, if you would, would you please leave this scene? I would. I would appreciate scene. that. Okay. Absolutely, Officer Opera. All right. Thank you very much. You. I'm gonna go over here and see what else needs to be done. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. If you like these videos, maybe you'll like some of my others. So feel free to binge watch. If you like this channel, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel, grab a hard-hitting conversation starting design from the store that you can put on a shirt, hoodie, mug, hat, cell phone case, pillowcase, whatever you want. Become a channel member, but more importantly, know what your rights are and exercise your rights. If you don't exercise those rights, I guarantee you, you're going to lose them. I will see you in the next video.